What's up guys, nice to see you on my channel, hope you all doing great and today we have a new upgrade for our studio and that is MacBook 13 inch. Let's open this box and take a look what is inside and also take a look at the performance. Maybe it will be better than my current computer. So let's get started. <laughs> started with unboxing first removing this so opening here is our macbook remove this one oh most satisfying noise i can say so far so space gray same color no changes here cable power brake 61 watts so that's it what was in the box and right now let's set up the whole macbook and trying to check the performance of the laptop so guys, I finally finished with the configuration of the laptop and that is already totally new day. It's taking some time to install all your apps at the same time configure everything like you want. But we finished with that one and we can continue. First, let's talk a little bit about the body of the new laptop because there was quite a lot of changes. Apple finally replaced the butterfly keyboard with a new scissor keyboard. It's hard to say that it's new. It's old one. They just replaced their butterfly keyboard with the old solution which works and it's more durable. Next one, with this keyboard you get a physical escape button. For developers it can be quite important, for video editors it's not so important, but still good to have it. And right now they separate touch bar from the fingerprint reader, so that is also really good. Right now it's easy to unlock your computer. But laptop become a little bit taller with a new keyboard on couple millimeters and a little bit heavier. It's again because of this keyboard. You not will see the difference because if you only keep in two laptops, old one and new one old one will be a little bit more thinner compared with new one but at the same time if you will take just this laptop you not feel any difference at all so and right now let's talk a little bit about configuration which i have first old one that is i7 dual core with a physical keyboard without touch bar with 16 gigabyte of ram lpddr3 and 500 gigabytes of storage was quite expensive computer when i bought it. so new one i7 quad core Core with one terabyte of storage and 60 gigabytes of memory LPDDR4. They're quite similar to each other, but at the same time there is a huge difference. And if we take a look on the score, so new one and old one in the single core test get practically similar results. So 1300, 1200, something like that. That means they're really close to each other. But if we're talking about multiply core test, there is a huge difference. Old one getting 2200 points and new one getting 4800 points so that is a huge difference in the performance but that is mainly because first of all ram lpddr4 and second of all of course of the processor i7 quad core it's a big difference between them so dual core and quad core that's why we're getting such results if we're talking about rendering so rendering if we compare these two laptops two times five faster on the new one and that is pretty easy to explain because of the configuration but at the same time if we take a look on the old one it's still not so bad and right now let's take a look on the price because old one right now on a used market costs like $1,200 something like that and new one costs $3,200 so that is a huge 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 difference and I can say for this price $3,200 I already don't think so that it will be a good solution to buy this laptop for this money you can easily go and buy 16 inch macbook pro with dedicated graphical card and using this one for video editing because in this laptop 30 inch you don't have a dedicated graphical card and rendering and everything taking a little bit more time so from this perspective this laptop not in really good niche because if you need it not so good performance but you need just laptop for internet browsing or i don't know watching youtube you can 
can buy a MacBook Air. If you need a really performance machine, you can buy a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Hard choice, because from my perspective, I just get this laptop for free and not invest any of my money in this laptop. I will still plan to buy a 16 inch laptop with dedicated graphical card for video editing. If I will be have such money, it's better literally buy a 16 inch MacBook. So I totally not will be recommended to buy this laptop because it's not will bring you any benefits from the perspective of increase your productivity and save some money because it's just not reasonable. If you need some laptop just for YouTube or just for start, just buy MacBook Air. If you need some laptop for really serious video editing, just buy MacBook Pro 16 inch. That is the whole verdict about these laptops. And yeah, by the way, I forgot to say that one laptop have two USB-C and another laptop have four USB-C, but it's because in the version with the physical keyboard, there was no configuration with the four ports. And with the touch bar, there is always four ports presented. From this perspective, not important, but still good to have four ports. So that's all what I want to say about these two laptops. And I think I will test it more, this laptop in a couple more videos. What is quite important with the new one, it finally can work with the 4K and it will be easier for me because previously I downgrade footage in 4K from Sony camera to 1080p because my computer cannot handle 4K. But right now when I already try it's working perfectly with the 4k so I can handle this on this computer it's still glitching sometimes because like yeah it's really hard for this computer to render this footage but at the same time it's still possible to work on this computer before we'll finish with this video let's read a couple comments so first comment from Savvy Creative Adventure does the camera setup clear the back motor of the gimbal or does it hit the motor that is regarding Ronin SC and Canon an SRP with 24105 and I can say it yes it's hitting the motor because yeah it's really hard to balance the thing I have one video one person balance it in the way when it's not hitting the motor but that is taking too much time I can say it's running a seat totally not a good solution if you trying to balance Canon SRP on these gimbals I highly recommend you just go and buy Ronin S it will be much more easier oh Wimbel S it's also a great solution so yeah I hope I answer on your question next one Doug. nice review i'm looking a lot at the rp i have t7i which is great just sub cheers thanks mate really great camera for somebody who started and right now if you're trying to replace your t7i it's a perfect solution it's a future of canon they will be continue to use arab glass and i think that is the direction which they take and so totally go and buy next one sean congrats i'm in the market yay <laughs> i think you're forgot to screw anti-twist screw with allen key yeah you're totally right dentart i forgot about that one and i'm really sorry but i need to read instruction before i start unboxing such stuff so yeah but i already screwed it properly so right now it's totally fine it's on new sony a6600 right now so and last one great vlogs thanks for the video that's demo i wanted to see i wanted to get sony a6600 sigma 60 and the 18105 thank you great solution just go and buy it just go and buy it because that is what i did and just go and buy it that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe on my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you like what i'm doing and of course link will be on this configuration of the laptop in the description so if you want just go and check it and of course see you in the next video already pretty soon take care bye